Welcome everyone to more state-of-the-art Linux distribution development here on this channel with our T2 just raw, certainly optimized and all CPU architecture supporting Linux distribution. Yesterday we wasted way too much time to bisect and eventually find two super most annoying xorg udev drm virtio interaction bug finally tackled that no, don't ask what is it? i installed this already in qamo of course here with 16 only even 32 it doesn't doesn't matter the most but anyway i installed that for test um but i will just reinstall this here live for this video just said not only testing what you believe that is the latest and greatest so what is new except also the best way of course is to run install and yes eventually even the comments below maybe we some some other day we will um create some more modern installer stuff here so i tested jfs and xfs yesterday i suppose it probably should still work let's use my favorite better as these days and yes yeah, so this is native kvm 32 threads Actually, I should switch to virtio block another day. Um, yeah, it's installing fast, right? It's epic thread ripping through all the sets that had compressed tables. And what is new is, this is the test, more security features, a little bit at least, uh, stack smashing protector, um, position independent executables, I think. And however, it's even smarter, if not the smartest, the smartest partially oh, fast optimized Linux, yes, so fast can break stuff, but we only do that to known hot files. There is our T2 Linux um, smart profile database stuff. And is it LTO? Actually, no, I'm actually, we will see this in a second. Anyway, so let's just test, test, and then, so what we will do now, except testing, testing, more testing, the most testing, and then releasing the ISO for you, having the most up to date and smartest or fast optimized Linux for you to play along at home is to, before we do that, uh, maybe iron out some small emerge dependency resolution marginalities. Uh, there. Is that, let's store that from, where is that is the latest kernel from last night to, uh, to 5, 19, 4 or 5. We can fact check that uh, for. And so what is fixed since yesterday is that now we should have working virtio isolated TWM, obviously. Um, you can also black box that. Actually, let's maybe, uh, is it worthwhile? I don't think it would be. Maybe I should test if there probably should have been a W window manager selection don't usually use that but let's see if that's still there that even freaking still works um except default stuff does does another font work though okay maybe another uh how was it oh this one was it um personally i always uh reverse videos there was it Although somehow maybe I should actually check uh, what is up with the fonts because uh, maybe we should add some more fonts because it might be a little bit too small for you to read at home. Um, but maybe, we maybe we should test another video. We hacked X render because I always hated to look up this whatever virtual and whatnot output that is. So in our special T2 mostly raw and not vanilla anymore because we fix everything <laughs> and patch it to our liking but yeah we try not to overload it only only the most minimal functional bugs and features and security things patched um output i don't want so let's use another mode let's test that uh, just for you to have it larger um, like that and maybe it's to the, the pattern that looks funny. Um, is, that, is it a bug or a feature? Um, maybe we should also... Oops. Nah, I hate this Wayland native. Because that is... Uh, hmm. Anyway, you get the idea, right? Scaling, scaling. But what we actually wanted to do is... Actually, maybe do we have a... By the way, I... Oh, wait. Maybe we see a... 
because I was wondering what the fonts here does. Because previously, decades ago, oh, which mouse button was it? All right, this also might. Oh, don't tell me the mouse thing is off now. Ah, oh, darn, somehow. Word IO, tablet stuff. Ah, okay, fine. Um, ah, here it is. I think previously, very not previously. No, oh, don't get a message. Okay, fine. It's not the most important. Maybe we get it from the Xox server in the log server. Let's ignore that. Is it even readable? Maybe it's not the most. You know what? It's maybe even. Uh, we only need a freaking. The problem is this is all not pixel perfect scaling. Maybe I should. I should somehow have. Why does it? Was this terminal larger yesterday? I mostly worry for you, being able to read that at home though, but. Also, this tablet scaling is. Why do I always find bugs? Um, maybe you shouldn't run it like that. Anyway, DH client. <coughs> and so we fixed in the live stream today um, how to make and stuff, like Perl stuff. Um, maybe you should install a default bash history with subversion checkout or so. For you to not type this. And probably the certificates. It's actually somewhat tricky to. Yeah, why did I use tablet? And why does it not auto scale? Yeah. Bugs and features. I'm probably using it wrong. So, um, at home, then you of course configure here that it's creating a default config. And always, we could check what did we had? LTO, all right, I had LTO, all right, this wasn't, yeah, so this is the smartest LTO whole program where it works. Um, latest and greatest text and features and quirks and workarounds and smart profile database. Anyway, so um, let's try to emerge some stuff and see what works and what doesn't. So for example, anti-grain stuff that some people might, actually it's building CF and um, whatever there, but you probably don't need. Um, this stuff triggers me a little bit. Wait a second, should the mouse cursor not change? Ah, here. This is how we resize it. When you, so yeah. So this is basically testing and we knew one more thing yesterday um, that was so this we have done you see we also work on our also this theoretically i mean i i, I work work around that by not enabling it by default because who needs it anyway so libg for example also something failed that it's not that good let's just look sdl so some of the stuff might be genuine errors of LTO also, and that is why it's important that we test our stuff. Also, this looks like it is. So this might also be Pi or whatnot. Um, so yeah, this this is not like really our bug. This is just like not not tested that exotic combinations that much, especially like old stuff like SDL for older stuff like Egg, which anti grain geometry some people still use. <coughs> was actually one of the better libraries. A pity that this was not the most used, but. Do we have that there? So this is probably a pick work, um, I hope. Let's see. Oh, this doesn't rebuild libSDR. So this is basically exactly... I, I didn't expect that to find that issue that fast. Oh, lib audio file? Oh, come on. Okay, but anyway, what the more we... The more optional dependencies we test live on this channel, the better. And by the way, ask, ask me anything while we are here, right? Um, Esound, actually, Esound failed strangely yesterday or something. So, question there. Yeah, raining here too. Um, we we s seriously ne needed that, obviously, in this Fridays for Future. Or like, I mean, in the meantime, we're not, not at Fridays for Future anymore. We, in the meantime, we are like every freaking day for future. Um, but yeah, we, we obviously so needed that so yeah. 
but it's of course only literally uh, some drops on, on hot very hot stone so exhales um, some more so yeah, lip SDL works so I mean very theoretically we could fine grain marks of FP queer I mean should we yeah anyway let's let's make it like that it's yeah yeah theoretically it built before probably without LT on stuff but or pi or whatever combinations it is but um, maybe there's always a risk with new um, uh, theoretically saves I'm not sure if this uh, there's always a risk with new GCC and Benutils versions that this also breaks for power PC or whatever. So, and what did fail for? I have chosen X because I knew that I think auto re auto generates. So, um, okay, this is actually apparently Perl. Um, so it. It's apparently still required to force rebuild Perl. This appears to still be a slightly limited cross compiled flavor. That is, of course. Um, yeah, Perl Python is still not perfect, but that is for another day. This is. Patches welcome. Do we even have a feature bounty for that? Um, maybe I should. Let's maybe. Launch here a second. Oh, where is it even? Oh, next term. Uh, somehow looks like this tablet stuff really sucks a bit. That is rather crazy. There we have it. Um, it is super silly though. Um, it is actually difficult to to hit now then I hear. Ah, why is this? Ah, this was this. Yeah, but that sucks a bit. Let's emerge some more stuff, but yeah, don't probably don't use. I, I'm not fixing it. I whatever Xorg scaling and, and transforms and that's, that's, and who is using? I mean, you're not using such just not X render that or, or just just use a freaking emulated mouse or, or real passed on mouse or whatever. Um, or send a patch, obviously. Um, let's emerge some more stuff. Um, what else could be? All oh, right, the style thing. Um, let's see what does it build. G. So okay, that is that will already fail. We know that. So then let's fix also. What is by the way silly in my opinion is that also maybe we should have. Can we change to um, focus model? Is that that right? Uh, just for a little bit. Uh, which even there. Um, I wish Blackbox had built in. It's like, yeah, we, we need a microkernel and you will know success and probably next week. Uh, that, that window, like, you need BB key of keyboard handling. That is just silly. So let's see if that fixes. What was it? Egg. And then let's all right, style. So that is. That do we even? Oh, it's also a little bit silly to 126, 100. I mean, theoretically, you know what? Let's. I don't know why that is. Let's maybe build it simply later. Of course, who cares? Okay, so that fixed X, so it's still like cross compiled per, not 100% not perfect. But that is a small thing. I mean, for other small things, it's working. Um, 
It's already better than nothing. So otherwise autoconf and auto makes then work. That is of course huge progress and, and very important. Uh, did we build did we build are this somehow still maybe due to this not being Yeah, so that, that config probably didn't regenerate so the emerge use it doesn't fail for you at home like that because you have that committed if we committed in a second. Um Besides, so probably Vim, yeah, Vim, Vim works now. Um, what else would be needed to test? Um, I mean, we could emerge something as huge as Emacs just for the test of it. What would that? Okay, this might also not be ideal to build GTK plus. Let's so probably. Although I think they have. Um, They probably have G GNOME, uh, GDK. Uh, three or whatever support. Oh wait, is it? I know this is probably GTK three, so that is 150, 100. And yeah, we need to, this is just some fine tuning to, to fix it for now. What even was it now? Uh, 150 or so. So this is... Uh, this is of course Emacs doesn't compile and crashes compiled with GCC. They hmm, so this is a little bit silly. That is some old shit. Actually, let's try if we need that. This is a win-win of seeing really up and done code. Actually, maybe let's not build it that late uh, for all the Emacs packages potentially. Yeah, that also wait a second, we probably don't even want GDK plus two. We probably want you know what, let's maybe not build that, let's although I just changed that, but the build project is probably not that different. Actually, you know what, let's control C that and even wait for the code. Wait for that. Let's see if it builds with GDK plus current version three or whatever that is. So what's going on here with Sile? I help two men still not working. Um, ah, maybe this is why ENV doesn't work. Interesting. Mm. What does it? Um, so we just SED that this morning. Good that we test this. Hmm. Uh, bin ENV. Utils according to some version you will be able to use NFS so given S command arcs why do we why do we need dash s oh bloody pro uh, who even needs this Stupid. Oh, come on. Mm. Why is this needed for a split string mandatory to no options? Um, process and split into separate arguments used to post multiple arguments on shebang lines. Uh, ah, it executes what? It executes who? Oh, this is silly. This is plain stupid. Oh, 
Kann man nichts schütteln. Ähm, so, ein Dash is right, that is so silly. Okay, um, good that we, so that, that also means, hmm, that, that is a little bit shit now. Means we would need to rebuild everything and gen regenerate the ISO. But yeah, testing, testing, the more testing, what you didn't test. I mean, I, we, I, I quickly tested it, I couldn't even imagine that this doesn't work. But this is all this kind of stuff, like, n very few people know, maybe you need to be like, Linus Torvalds or Alan Cox of kernel development stuff of, but yeah, this is Unix. Cheers. It's probably all this stuff is past this one argument, I, I suspect. Um, so that would be SED this stuff to, what was it? Um, dash S, what, wait a second, did we have a space or not? Oh, we have a space. We had a space there, so we need a space. This is, this is just silly. Um, yeah. Good that we, yeah, so the more we test, the more we find, and the more attention to detail, and the more perfect your freaking releases. Um, so Emacs freaking builds, D does it work? Okay, also freaking works. Um, except, oh, my screen is off. Um, yeah, who said we don't support freaking Emacs? Is it even the latest version? I don't know. Where is even the... Also, yeah, flickering graphics, the state of Vert I.O. Uh, probably, probably guessed it. Uh, where is now the mouse cursor mapped in... Uh, actually, we could probably quit it like that. Good to knock some key bindings, obviously. Um, so the win win of all of this stuff, not only we've, we found a bug and... <laughs> Of course, we found work. Um, committing that, so that's old fashioned optimization stuff. And all oh right, we probably want to find you. And so we built with a new GDK. Also, where is my. Oh, where would be my. Okay, fine. All right, we don't need to see the whole window. So seeing the whole window is for Windows users. Um, Let's manually fine tune the cache here just so that we have here just GTK plus for improved image. And that's exactly what I was. I, I didn't expect that bug, but um, I was exactly after this improved image experience so that we continue to make T2 one of the top 10, hopefully in a year or two Linux distributions, and you have less and less source emerge marginalities and, and bugs and stuff and and just outstanding performance features and, and, and all the good stuff everyone experience from their personal computers in the stained age um updated emacs cache and removed very old actually it really isn't that bad to see actually your where it would be my to see your window so much to sloppy focus, man. Is it that hard to... Uh, ach, this is so silly. This is so silly. Maybe we should just move it away. I really, you know what, uh, window managers for <laughs> alt tab window switching works without some additional helper program. would actually actually it'd be more difficult than I expected to actually you know what control D. problem solved who needs more than one freaking window updated emix cache and home very old gcc optimization quirk and something of uh, build priority who cares committed like that um the other thing was sire Yes, and one day, eventually, between uh, how, what was the saying? Um, eventually, no. Um, eventually, someday between now and forever. So uh, we we will get rid of the static bit processing. It's just not the highest priority, right? We we have a microkernel to write, so like that's fine. Um, what else did we do? 
uh, nothing. We can. What else should we emerge? What would you want? I mean, we we obviously have the latest Firefox here, right? So for the um, most optimized, uh, fastest uh, browsing experience and stuff. What is that? URL something something. Probably normal stuff, right? Probably from if, yeah, something. Probably nothing to see. Just this uh, regular software quality. Um, last but not least, what would you want? Let's let's emerge like maybe just some random test or screen. I mean, we installed Tmux by default, so that probably should work. Um, shebang is from hash, uh, hash and exclamation mark, right? Like hash, bang, sh shebang. As far as I, but I'm not a R Perga text. Uh, finally failed. Of nah. Mm -hmm. well, there's always something. Probably we probably should take a quick look at that. Mm, so that probably is also. I mean, maybe we should f pick. I mean, do we have to do already of always injecting that? I vaguely remember that I was thinking about something like that uh, recently, but that is not a. Ah. Refactor if we got medically here. Um, so we have that pro. It probably again previously get uh, text. It probably previously built just by luck with. So this is either LTO or Pi. Um, might be Pi. Probably it's Pi. Yeah, but as you see, when we started three years ago, like when after a decade of only updating our at exa code, um, hardcore embedded core stuff and, and what we needed ourselves for servers, virtualization and stuff, um, I always kept maintaining T2 because obviously I wanted to use the best Linux distribution for my use cases. And we have come a long way, right? In, in three years live on YouTube, a lot of time, sweat and, and attention to detail lot of bugs, features and, and fine tuning and benchmarking later stuff. I mean, except small things, but although this is really new, right? We just LTO more and Pi more. So this is just kind of state of the art. It's just, it probably needs more. We probably, yeah. And maybe we watch that some weeks or months and yeah. And then we decide how automated sledgehammer we apply that to all. Um, what else could we actually we could um, for the fun of it um, package this Wii emulator that was released the other day let's uh, let's for the fun emerge two more things actually maybe you know what let's let's go developer slash hammer valgrind um, RR, just like some really advanced stuff, RR, so reverse uh, debugger, and I think I updated that recently, didn't I? I remember that I updated it for a arch. Yeah, that was just recently. Uh, what was it? C Emu, right? Uh, it was just released the other day. We probably could f quickly package that. Um, we packaged the Nintendo 95 emulator some month ago. So if you are into all the stuff, state of the art, low level stuff, testing and, and everything, um, don't forget to like subscribe. If you want to support all the stuff, GitHub sponsorship, Patreon, YouTube membership, or just some t-shirt merch. I need to link that in a second. Um, let, let's first do this here, MKDR CMU. I wonder where this name comes from but whatever, uh, copy the, what was the NES, what was the, what was the name of that, what we, was it that one? Doesn't matter. Let's update. So this is also recurring thing. People always ask about packaging um, new stuff. 
I do this like constantly, so um, also we, we could check now if this is GPO. Just copy some template and fill out all the stuff. I really wonder where the C comes from. Why is this not W emulator? Oops, if you know that, leave me in the comments below. On PC? Um, I guess on everything. Oops. Yeah, copy and paste. What is our build doing? Mm, maybe we are also want Intel limited support. Where is... Um, all right, let's just use that as the title, obviously. And Vagrant build, let's QEMU and RR. Why is RR not? Uh, ah, there, it's the first one, just open it. So, download, where is that? Download latest, download experimental, no, I want the freaking sources, where are they? Mm. This is a source release, isn't it? I thought they... Don't tell me... It's at least what I thought it is. It, yeah, it looks like it is there, just not. It's a recurring theme of who cares about the sources, right? Ubuntu Windows source code, let's try what happens. Stuff emerging, how it should be. And that, is, that testing is exactly what I'm after, right? Polishing that so that really nobody has an excuse anymore for not using T2 Linux. Um, CMU to zero, tar G set for, uh, how was it? Was it this here also? It's their license. MPL and author is mm, do they have someone who claims maybe we look into some does it even is it based based on QM or how oh, actually this does not directly I wonder, do they emulate the whole ATI? I also wonder, can we boot our own Linux in there? What is the... What is the graphic? Is it Cafe or graphics pick? Do they, I wonder if they emulate the API or... What is the name of... No, this is not that. But let's see, who is the name in there? Oh, no name. Yeah, the usually hacker scene stuff of who cares who wrote that. Reverse engineered so much that nobody wants to claim responsibility. Is there not some. You know what? If it takes so long, then it's always same old project. Who cares? Uh, that probably looks okay. -ish. Let's see if it downloads. And we build mostly except QEMU. Why not? Was it uh, Ninja? Oh, what? It was. Ah, right. We need Ninja. Of course, we need Ninja. Um, I wonder if our Python is now full featured enough for just Ninja. To be honest. And probably we can. Okay, this even. Does it work? Loading build Ninja in such directory. Is it somewhat did not build? 
Oops. So you still need to emerge, re-emerge Perl and Python. That is not ideal, especially in vintage hardware, but share, like, and subscribe, donate, Patreon membership, or buy a t-shirt. Um, and then eventually we will improve the two VI emulators. So let's probably add here some proper merch. I really so yeah, you would wonder Google and YouTube and stuff so commercial um, stuff would be automated. But each I, I wonder why I can't. Like, can I stick here at least? I each each live stream I waste here uh, twenty seconds to click this merch in there again. So how was it with uh, the, what's it, what is the tech name, even is the tech name? Uh, does the tech have a V in there or does it have a V in there? Why does it not work then archive or is it just without text? I so hate this modern web loading stuff. Hey, that worked. Yeah. So let's see what happens and then we can call it quite a win-win. Um, ah, thanks for telling, uh, uh, letting us know that C emulation is an abbreviation for coffee emulation. Um, it sounds a little bit more like Java, uh, while I appreciate that. Um, I would still like W, I mean, yeah, lawsuit and stuff, but anyway, um, but... Mm, VU Caf, Caf, Cafe OS, yeah, but but even I, I mean, I know, I know a lot of um, code names, and yeah, that rings a bell. But I think W M U or whatnot might would have been the more marketable choice. So what time is it? And I, I go soon, so family's waiting. Uh, this will be the last emerges for this live stream. And I'm Build verbose coffee emulation. I probably include that. So yeah, thanks for that. Highly appreciated. Um, how did you find Ofa? So what do you mean with that? Reading the freaking manual, or how do I find it performance-wise? I have not yet fully benchmarked that. I have on my to-do. Okay, this is some bloody CMake stuff. Why does it um, corresponding to Unix methods? Uh, okay, so so much to probably need to finish. That uh, different build tool. What the heck is that even? Um, I have no idea why. Why? What? What that is about? Um, so yeah, what more? Well, the modern stuff of why does stuff not just build? Let's see if that fixes. It builds now. QEMO. And uh, by the way, did that, that probably needs. We need to update the. Um, Desk. We probably want Ninja that didn't quite need. I don't know if it's optional or whatnot, but this RE2C we didn't need today. And did you benchmark? I had previous benchmark. I mean, in general, oh, fast improved stuff. Um, previous videos, right? Um, it was some somewhat slow. I also found that just LTO doesn't really do much of. of noteworthy significance. I found like even the GCC documentation says LTO that does not do much by itself. You probably want to pair it with F with program, which is what I did now by default in our amazing, if not one of the best loose distributions. Um, and um, so yeah, O fast as it, but O uh, improves performance. Um, of course, it takes longer to build and stuff, but obviously right more optimization. Um, I have not yet benchmarked how amazing my smartest combination is of building everything O1 except hot files, because who cares about not hot code passes. What I have on my to-do eventually, which you all want to share like and subscribe for, so eventually, now that we have more subscribers, also more main channel, right? If you're new to the stuff, I have a more main channel there. This is a more live channel. Um, so now that T2 is in, T2 Linux is in such an amazing state, obviously, increasingly and everything, there will be more more better videos soon, like real reviews, products, and, and benchmarking stuff. Eventually, I want to benchmark our own T2. I mean, not only Sen4, right? Sen4 coming soon, ASAP. 
But benchmarking T2 and for example with, usually I don't install other Linux versions because nah, YOLO, who cares if I have my own. But I will, I mean I even test installed Intel's clear Linux like probably last year for a quick test but only like for 30 minutes. But what I will do eventually is do a benchmark shout out like similar to maybe even installing some Ubuntu and clear Linux and see how we compare, like how does T2 compare, especially this smartest or fast not everything or fast because it could break too much but hot code paths hot files or fast and everything or one which should be pretty build fast and optimize good stuff and not randomly break too much because or fast is advertised to potentially be unsafe because why does this fail um Declared, oh, thank you very much, modern compiler stuff. So that is, um, that, that is fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's the only constant is changed. It's not even our bug. So that is, that is upstream, so good that we found that. That is, of course, not ideal, but that's what it is. Um, patches welcome, probably there's something upstream. That's probably GCC. Um, what do we have even the latest 12 uh, and, and stuff, right? Uh, to um, let's maybe see what this cache file can do for us. So Alza, ATK, lots of depths potentially. Um, including Valgrind and Wayland, that's might not be. I'm mostly so ninja. Huh? So yeah, that's adds a whole lot of which I'm not really sure. We probably need to more manually mark optional dependencies as well. I'm not like edit everything today. Let's maybe just add ninja because you obviously. Also, this looks really sparse. So. Yeah, Kirma patches welcome. The usual yeah, new compiler. See, see, they totally didn't get that and stuff. And, yeah. and um, we could as the last thing. So I would say we can actually. All oh, right, we need to rebuild some stuff um, for this. And heck, it's probably still raining. Do I have an umbrella? I hope I have an umbrella in the office. Um, otherwise, I get wet. <sighs> what is going on here? They have indeed CMake. Um, I wonder why that is though. Um, what do we run with? So we run CMake with that, but so what's the issue here? Uh, CMake was unable to find a build program corresponding to Unix make file CMake program. Hmm. I think otherwise C makes stuff built here, not I I've dependencies, but this is also VC package. Is this maybe it needs some build for Unix thing that looks like it's configuring for maybe for Windows? Can we load? Do we have drop frames? Mm, download build, build MD, Linux, some stuff, Clang and Ninja and stuff, and CMake dot dot. Um, okay, they want ah, they want generator Ninja apparently. Mm, do we support that yet? I have no idea. We usually use make for that. Mm, so, 
flag object dir and um, generator ninja I don't know actually this might not work I think we currently have ninja grouped with Mason uh, why even why do we do that we could actually, so we should probably split that, but that could cause no regressions or recurring, even at us, so only constant is change and regressions. That is, um, but I really need to go soon. What we could do, where do we have CMake? What do we probably CMake is freestanding, I guess. Um, CMake style, and how do we CMake? Yeah, so what we probably want is to move um, CMake here. Ah, not CMake? Ah, oh, no. Um, where is CMake? Um, right, this is CMake. Move, um, move. Um, oh, wait a second. No, this um, CMake is there. So then we have a ninja. So probably that is. Um, Like move. Uh, uh, ninja here, something like that. Because otherwise, I think currently, what will it do? Probably, it will probably run in not working code path here. It's probably not finding anything. Try to what does it try to run? So ninja so far so good. Does it do something? Um, I'm able to find build program corresponding to ninja. What? Was it not ninja? G ninja ninja. Mm. Um, it does it need this compiler set, which I wouldn't appreciate the most. So okay, we can also add that. Hmm. Why does it still long thing? That is yeah, more than I mean it's mostly wasting time of not having configure make make install all this all this build system, it's like who freaking cares except waste of time this is Let's try does it need a full pass? Because I usually don't want to supply one. And somehow this is strange. Toolchain file is used. So it. Hmm. Is this a. This again in some yeah so much to let's let's just build it what could possibly work. Why is this here? Uh, what why is this not Oh, 
this is empty in what way it says could not find twitch and file oh wait this must we see what the heck What do they say here? Um, uh, maybe uh, maybe we, uh, we, we had to get clone recursive. Uh, thank you very much. I guess the source, uh, this is probably why uh, darn, I hate this so much. So we can't use this bloody download. Um, so yeah, what is the point of having a download if it's not complete? So that is just without the freaking, so th that's silly. Uh, I need another answer. It's, it's not the first time, we recently had the, probably the uh, NES 95. Five Super Super Nintendo, whatever. Yeah, yeah. 2022. You can't just use source tables because they're incomplete. And anyway, I hope you learned something. Otherwise, T2, uh, I would call pretty amazing state. Otherwise, all oh, right. So, pr so probably the number, the next elephant in the room, probably having desktop environments emerge smoothly, right? Which two years ago or so. Marathon live stream seven six seven hours actually more than two years ago, before the pandemic. Um, marathon KDE and GNOME sprints <laughs> or it's like it's not a marathon it's an ultra right? How long do you run a marathon? Probably not six or seven hours. So yeah, ultra ultras of emerging the heck through this previously outdated stuff. Um, probably if you I probably need to pull off. Should I even should I bother? smoothing KDE in GNOME for you playing along at home or should I just continue with my own graphics subsystem and microkernel but that's it for today I have to run uh, feed the family stuff enjoy the evening and I hope you learned something enjoy your day or night too don't forget to like subscribe there is a moment channel and see you soon also for this um, ISO release then here after rebuilding some ENV stuff and that's it for today see you next time <laughs>